Welcome to Officer Candidate Lecture Series Lesson 2, Part 1. In this lesson, we'll learn how to convert percent to decimal, um, convert a fraction to percent, find percent of a number, discount calculation, profit calculation, interest, and tax calculation. So before we go um, to the actual lesson, so make sure that you have a pen and a notebook so that you could write um, some important information that will help you to prepare for your officer candidate test. So once you finish um, watching the video, download the application or subscribe the um, course from the link below that will help you to practice for the uh, officer candidate test. And one good advice for everybody, practice multiple times. Don't do like, like one time I get it because this is a competitive test and um, you really, really need to do good on the test. Okay, so let's get started. So before we do anything, let me ask you, what percent means to you um, when you hear that word percentage? So the sign percentage, what does it mean? What is, what is a 5% um, discount means? So 5%, the percent means, percent means Par 100 percent, right? One dollar equal to 100 cents. So that is it came from out of 100. So um, 5 percent discount. 5 percent discount means five dollar off in every hundred dollar. 5 percent tax. 5 percent tax means you need to pay extra five dollar in every hundred dollar just remember this concept the percent came from the cent right and per means every hundred so percent means every hundred so um as you could see here uh five percent so how to make from percent to decimal we'll learn that so uh, if you want to make from a percent to decimal you have to divide it by hundred so you could see here this 8% equals 8 over 100 that gives you 0 0.08. So if do another way, you could move all those two decimal places, 1, 2. So that gives you 0 0.08. 25%, so you move two decimal places, 1, 2, that gives you that. 0.5%, 1, 2. You will not have enough a digit, fill out with 0, so that gives you 0 0.002, right? So nine and quarter percent. So nine and quarter means 9.25%, right? Move two decimal places, one, two. So that gives you 0 0.0925 that we get in here, right? So that is the fundamental thing you need to remember that how to convert from percent into decimal. So you try by yourself, make sure that you understand. So this is the answer options that you have here so make sure that you get same thing that we get now how to make from decimal to percent if you want to make from decimal to percent you need to do the opposite thing so uh, you need to move two decimal places from left to right so that means you are multiplying by 100 so you see 100 after one how many digits you have you have two so you have to move two decimal places from left to right one two but if you don't have enough digit as i said you need to fill out with zero so 0 0.6 means 60 percent 0 0.9 now you know one two so that give 0.9 percent four over five four over five if you want to make four over five into a decimal that gives you 0 0.8 move two decimal place 80 percent three over 50 point one six 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 it will go forever so and if you want to make from the decimal to percent move two decimal places that gives you 16.67 percent let's go next um here here are some uh the practice problem you try by yourself uh do the math make sure that you get it now we'll find percent of a number so Five uh, four percent of two fifty. So you know, op means this is the keyword. Op means multiply. 
okay so 4% of 250 that means uh, you need to make percent into decimal so move two decimal places and then multiply so 0 0.04 times 250 gives you 10 so you remember that the previous video make sure that you know the fundamentals how to do addition subtraction multiplication and division of decimals so that you need this um, the concept from previous lesson that's how we have like a very organized way if you ask the video you learn everything you need so same way 0.7% of 400 move um, move two decimal places from right to left one two you get here and then multiply that gives you 2.8 35% of 120 do the exactly same way you get this same way 95 right now some of the problem here for practice you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer if you get that you should be fine that means you're learning now um let's let's do um a formula that could uh, help you to find out most of the percent type of problem so 25 is what percent of 200 write this formula so part over whole percent over 100 it will help you for everywhere so here this is some keyword keep that in mind is mean part of means whole always keep this that in mind 25 is what percent of 200 that means of means whole 200 what is 25 percent i mean what is 25 out of that so 25 out of um 200 first you could simplify divide both side by 25 divide by 25 that gives you 1 over 8 if you want to make 1 over 8 and um you get 0 0.125 and you know how to make from decimal to percent you need to move two decimal places from left to right so that gives you 12.5 percent let's move on so there is another problem so you could see here 150 is what percent of 200 follow that is means part of means whole and then you get 150 over 500 so if you reduce that that gives you 0. Um, 0 0.03 make this decimal into percent get three percent next one same way you practice by yourself make, make sure that you get this and that answer if you get that you are good so not only for um watching the video make sure that you learn it if you don't learn it's not gonna help you okay so that that's why i i am just keep telling you watch the video multiple times and keep practicing you you'll, you'll, you'll do good because one very important information i could share the test is seven eight grade math standard so keep that in mind so um this is a example problem a practice problem so you could try by yourself Make sure that you get it so the answer is 10 percent so say, take take some time give your brain some time to think and process the information so the next thing we'll learn um successive reduction so um what is the reduced price of 60 dollar raincoat after a successive discount of 10 percent 10 percent and 30 percent that means you went to Macy's to buy a raincoat with $60 and you have three coupons. So how these three coupons actually apply? So the, how it actually works? So you, when you go to Macy's, uh, the cash register, um, you scan the, the price of the raincoat. So the price is $60. So then what he does first, he or she first he scan the first coupon, right? After scanning first coupon, some money will take from $60. So the final balance is 54, right? So then he scan another coupon, take 10% off, off 54, not from 60 anymore because the 54, your final balance. So it takes 10% um, of that, that is 540. The price now is 48, 60. Then you have another coupon for 30%. Same way, take another 30%, that gives you 14.58, and if you subtract that, that gives you $34.02. That's a very good um, problem for the officer candidate test. 
let's try by yourself say a shirt normally cost 25.50 how much do you need to pay if it is purchased at 20% discount right so what you have to do make this percent into decimal and then uh, multiply 25.50 whatever you get that is the discount and then subtract from 25 you try you should get this so the next thing we'll learn how to do um, interest rate right so the formula to find the interest rate i equal to prt so you don't need to like higher level of complex interest or compound interest uh, for this officer candidate this is the simple interest is good enough so i equal to prt where p is the principal so you could see a principal is fifteen thousand dollar rate is a percent so anytime you have a multiply percent you have to make percent into decimal so that is 0 0.05 and then time is always year so you get like five percent interest that's, that is called apr annual percent rate right so uh, plug that value 15,000.05 times 5 that gives you this the amount so you need to add that with 15,000 so that gives you total um the gain will be this one next problem you try by yourself make sure that you get it um use the formula i equal to p r t uh, plug the value do the math make sure that you get this next thing tax calculation that we learned percent means every hundred dollar so sean purchases a shirt for 22 dollar and five cents if the sell tax was five percent what is the total price of the shirt so what you have to do you have to find the tax um five percent tax on 25 uh, 22 dollar and five cents so that multiply you get this amount so you know after the decimal we need two decimal places because the money is um is after two decimal place we normally count you don't need that after um if you have multiple decimals after um decimal point after the decimal so the actual price will be 22 dollar 5 cent plus dollar 10 cent gives you 23.50 now this is your turn do a, a practice problem find out the tax and if you do the math right you will get this answer so the next thing we'll learn how to um calculate profit okay so let's do that this is the formula to find the profit so the percent of profit gives you um sell price minus buying price divided by buying price times 100 so you know percent is converted into 100 so here um the buying price is 20 and then selling price 25 right so if you plug those value in here so 25 minus 20 gives you 1 over um, 4th eventually, 520. If you simplify that divided by 5 both sides, that gives you 1 quarter. 1 quarter equal to 0 0.25. And then if you want to make from decimal to percent, move 2 decimal places, give you 25% profit. So learn this concept. It's very important. The next thing we'll learn is the same problem but a little bit different by selling a stool for 240 a carpenter loses um 20 percent what percent would he gain or lose by selling 360 right so use this concept in here okay so let's see the cost uh, of this um sell price is x so um x minus 0 0.20 that means 20 percent loss right so that you could get the um three hundred dollar the original price now you want to sell what percent that gives you 360 right so use the formula now so 360 will be the final price um 300 will be the buying price and then if you do the math that give you 20 percent. so if you sell 360 um that will give you 20 percent profit so this is another example for you practice problem as i said always so the purpose of giving this practice give your brain um the ability of think because you know that this is a competitive test um the more you learn is better for you to um, 
prepare for the officer candidate so you try by yourself make sure that you get 2800 so let's move on so i think this is the last problem uh, for this series so watch the video uh, make sure that you learn every single thing that you need to uh, the practice more and more and in this um, in this video you will see the app link and web link so download the app and practice lesson two um homework problem and then practice test you know in the in the application there are um uh, progress tracker you could track your progress how you are doing in every lesson so learn everything you have um in the application uh, make sure that you get 80 percent or higher in the um, uh, practice test then you should be at a good position for the uh, percentage um, problem type okay good luck